Assalamualaikum and very good morning to Sir Osman and fellow friends. Before we start our discussion, let me introduce myself. My name is Muhammad Rashidi Barusli and my matrix number is 201928. Assalamualaikum. My name is uh, Muhammad Shaki bin Shamsuaza. My matrix number 204003. My name is Muhammad Izzat bin Muhammad Ali and my metric number is 203341. Okay, let's start our discussion. Um, for your information, vegetable and fruits are a complement to our daily meal. Usually, vegetable and fruits are producing from agriculture activities and selling at the market and store. Did you think? Why there are some different in price of vegetable and fruit in some stores, even they sell the same product. This is happen nowadays, right? This is happen because the production of vegetable is divided into two ways. First is organic farming, and the second is conventional farming. So let's see the introduction slide to know the different of both. First is what is farming? We need to know what is farming. Farming is divided into two ways. First, organic farming. Organic farming produces natural agriculture product without the use of synthetic chemical and the modified organism. The main focus behind the system is producing safe and healthy food for consumption, while reducing the agriculture based on environmental pollution to zero. Conventional agriculture is agriculture aimed to at maximizing the maximum productivity possible with the use of modern technology without much regard for food security and environmental pollution. The use of synthetic chemical genetically modified organism and integrated pest management system is very common in conventional agriculture. Okay. From this of from this information show that um, vegetable and fruits that produce from organic farming are healthier and actually are more expensive because there are many benefits of organic farming. So related to our topic today, we want to present what is the benefit of organic farming. So let's look into the first main point. The first main point is. Produce safe food. What is this? Production product from organic farming will guarantee the health and safety of the community. This is because nutrition containing chemical, which is pesticide, greatly affect to health of the body. This chemical can cause a number of diseases such as um, cancer and depression. So, organic farming can guarantee food safety from any pesticide. Okay, the second idea is biological control. What is the biological control? Naturally, organic cultivation will produce food um, that are chemical free, which is it use animal to control pests from attacking crop. For example, with the police, with the protection holes, pests like mice can be reduced. So consumer health will be safer and reduce environmental pollution. Okay, so I will go to Isa to continue the second main point. Okay, thank you for Rashidi. And now I will explain uh, about the second point. So the second point is Improve soil fertility. So, uh, organic farming use a systematic agricultural system and applies in variety of agricultural methods. For example, crop methods. Crop rotation is the process of planting more than one type of crop in the same time at a different area. So, the first plant will affecting the second crop to soil more to fertile. Thus, the soil fertility will not only be maintained, it will be more fertile than ever before. So, we move to the third point. So, the third point is compost from plant and animal. Organic crops will also help in biological recycling 
of agricultural and animal waste. This is because this process involves the process of organisms that have no negative impact on plants and humans. For example, livestock and leaftovers can be create compost to the crop and can be benefit to farmers to reduce a cost to buying a fertilizer. Next, this composting does not contain any chemical elements, but it has many benefits to plant to grow well. Thus, this recycling will make the quality of the crop organic and will prevent a wastage. So, Shakir will explain uh, about the main point for. All right, uh, I will explain the last point of our group. The last point is uh, control weeds and pests. Organic agriculture is also capable of control controlling weeds and pests through biological, physical, and cultural methods. With this process, weeds and pests can be effectively controlled without negative effects on farmers and their use and their uses compared to the use of insecticides. Insecticides, as a example. Plants such as uh, long grass can be a good crops to protect another types of crops from a pest, not also not give a negative effect to environment. So that's why uh, organic plants can help to control weeds and insects through biological, physical or cultural methods. So uh, in conclusion, we conclude that organic farming is an alternative use to replace conventional agriculture, agriculture, which has a huge impact on the environment. This organic farming also can be carried out through several methods that can be implemented to maintain soil fertility, to maintain soil fertility, fertility and at the same time produce high quality output and chemical fertilizers. Most people today have a high awareness of the importance of organic farming for their own health and with that organic crops also get a high demand in agriculture produced in country. But in order to increase the country's income Conventional agriculture is also very important for our country to obtain the higher yields for businesses, for business purposes, such as imports and exports activities. Each type of agriculture has a positive and negative effect to people and environment. So uh, that's why these two types of agriculture are play an important role in developing countries to continue to produce high quality. With that, our country will able marketing agriculture products domestically and abroad. That's all for uh, today for our group. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening.